the mini gastric bypass. Surgery starts by placing several trocars strategically in the abdominal wall. Once placed, instruments and scope are passed in order to visualize and mobilize the intra-abdominal contents. The normal flow of food passes from esophagus to stomach to the small intestine where the food mixes with the stomach acids and digestive enzymes and absorption of nutrients takes place. In the first part of the mini gastric bypass surgery, the stomach is divided and a small tube of stomach is created which becomes the pouch. This is the restrictive part of the procedure and means that only a very small amount of food can be taken at one time. The surgeon brings up a loop of bowel between 150 and 200 centimeters long and joins the lower part of the stomach. The joining of the bowel to bowel or the stomach to bowel is called an anastomosis. This means that the food passes from the small pouch into the small bowel where it meets the digestive juices which have moved downward from the main part of the stomach. In effect, therefore, about two meters of small bowel have been bypassed before absorption of food and calories can take place. Fewer calories absorbed means weight loss. The main difference between a standard gastric bypass surgery and the mini gastric bypass is that in the mini gastric bypass, there is only one anastomosis between the stomach and the bowel bypass point. In the standard gastric bypass procedure, there are two an upper and a lower anastomosis. Because the stomach pouch is created on the lower curvature of the stomach and there is only one anastomosis, the procedure is also reversible if needed, unlike the gastric bypass. When it comes to weight loss, studies have shown that the weight loss and benefits resulting from the mini gastric bypass are essentially the same as the results from the standard Roux-en-Y gastric bypass. As with a standard Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, the Omega Loop Mini Gastric Bypass works by both restricting the amount of food that can be eaten at one time and by altering the gut hormones involved in appetite control. The advantages, the Mini Gastric Bypass can be performed laparoscopically in around 90 minutes. The hospital stay can be short two to three days. The procedure is reversible. The procedure produces around 50 to 70 percent excess weight loss. As with the normal laparoscopic gastric bypass, patients also show immediate improvement of their diabetes, some coming off insulin within a few days after surgery. The disadvantages. Supplements will be needed lifelong as in with the normal gastric bypass. The procedure produces significant malabsorption to iron and calcium. Dumping syndrome, though present, can be less common than with a typical gastric bypass. Reflux may be a problem in 5-10% to 10 of the patients.